Shamai, and welcome to a very special episode of uh, BTC IoT. Um, I've got here Christian Rutzel. He's down for the week and he's going to be visiting uh, sunny Wales, even though it's not that sunny now because obviously the evening. Um, and we're going to be going over to London to uh, the BitDevs meeting um, with uh, John Newbury. So, really looking forward to that. And we've got a couple of other bits and bobs we're going to be doing in and around London. Um, but w while I had Christian here, I thought it makes sense to grab him because uh, the Raspberry Blitz project has had a, um, an update to version 1.3 and I was just intrigued as what uh, version 1.3 has in it uh, and I was just going to ask him so what, what's what's the news on the on the Blitz project and uh, what, what have we got now in 1.3? Yeah, uh, to clarify the, the Blitz is at the moment at uh, 1.3 in the final works so the release candidate one is out you will find it if you go to the github and you switch to the 1.3 branch you will there find in the readme uh, image of the release candidate one to download and the idea to come out a little bit more earlier than I expected with this release was the update of the mostly the update of to the raspberry pi 4 uh, i think some for all of us it came a little bit as a surprise because normally i didn't expect it to see a new raspberry pi this year uh, but but seeing the, uh, the raspberry pi 4 it's a sweet machine um, and it offers a lot of i think it pushes a lot of in the direction that we wanted to see so my goal was first of all with the new release to make it uh, ready for the raspberry pi 4 so that we can try it out and run some tests on it and then see if this or everything is working so you, you said it came i mean it, it came as a surprise there wasn't any announcements or anything suddenly they released the raspberry pi when, when it happened were you like okay now i've got a bit of work to do <laughs> yeah yeah i have to, I had to I had to push some issues or some features I wanted to include into the 1.3 to the next release for example the uh, changing maybe the the file system for the HDD or having the uh, USB backups uh, with the little rates uh, with ButterFS and so this I think this will then be a target for the next release but the, the goal of this release was getting all the fixes and little features we wanted to uh, I was working on ready to test and f of course make it ready for the Raspberry Pi 4. Nice so um, so it was mainly preparing for the Raspberry Pi 4 but does that mean so I asked um, a couple of people on Twitter what if they had any questions and then one of the worries obviously is then is my, my Raspberry Pi 3 is that still going to be compatible? Uh, yeah, the new version runs on both on Raspberry Pi 3 and of Ras on, on, and on Raspberry Pi 4 so you can use your even with your old hardware you can use the new version so no problem there but uh, it, it runs now as a base image on Raspbian uh, Buster so the new release that is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 so the new version of the Raspberry Blitz will also run on both uh, both Raspberry Pi versions. Fantastic and I, I think one of the biggest um uh, issues with uh, the Raspberry Blitz project was the the not being able to download the blockchain natively. So now with the Raspberry Pi 4, is that is that is that now no longer a problem? No, at least we're getting into the area now from hardware side that you can do this kind of self-validation, self-syncing the node from scratch, the blockchain, the making the initial blockchain download really peer-to-peer -peer from Bitcoin Core and then validate everything yourself. Um, but but I have from my first test at least uh, you can see that it will take some time still. So it, it, it should be you should choose maybe at least the middle version, the Raspberry Pi 4 with two gigabytes of RAM and then have really uh, maybe an SSD uh, as a hard drive uh, to, to really gain up to to have the speed and then at least from the test I haven't had a complete run through but at least from the testing it should be possible in about uh, yeah four to five days. Yeah, I think I opened OMS did it in 3.2 days I think running the um, on the on the Pi 4 I think he's done, done some experimentation on that already I swear I see some, so I've seen something on Twitter so <laughs> that might have just been a weird dream or whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what other what other updates are there in the new um, in the the new version of the you know, 1.3 blitz project? Yeah, I think most uh, most important the uh, the is the new LND version. So we have now LND uh, 0 0.7 uh working uh on in the, in the new recipe blitz version and it brings also a lot of speed ups and and some bug fixing or i hope we had some errors people were reporting uh that they uh, we now hope we don't will not see anymore with the new lnd version so data corruption uh, version with this uh, edge thingy though i hope this will be now gone 
um, and yeah, just at least on the on the LED side, you have the new version, and then a lot of small little things. I think one thing, for example, was that we um, now switched off the uh, TX index of the uh, blockchain. So before, what you what you used was um, um, when you when you copy the blockchain maybe you make made uh, self-validation on your laptop and then you wanted to copy it over to the recipe blitz you had to switch on uh, tx index uh, so you could don't need this anymore so it gets easier now even if you, if you don't want to go through this long process of self-validating on your recipe Pi, the self-validating on your laptop so you download just bitcoin core you, you just download the complete and validate the complete blockchain and then during the setup of recipe blitz you can you can then choose like the copy option Option, and then you copy it um, over the network, Ethernet network, you can copy the self-validated uh, blockchain over to, to you. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, so, so, so we're ready now for the Raspberry Pi 4, we're getting ready for the Raspberry Pi 4, um, and then we'd have to use a transaction index. Um, anything else? Any sort of significant updates in it? Or? Yeah, I think some, some small stuff uh, that is improved here and there and some exper experimental stuff. So it's some improvements, of course, are some version updates, <clears throat> the RTL uh, web dashboard. So if you want to manage uh, manage your node in a little more comfort way with, uh, with the RTL, with Ride the Lightning, there is the now the new version in there. Um, oh, what, so that's built into the actual Blitz uh, image, is it? Uh, yeah, it's at least the the install script now is updated to use the the, uh, the new version, the 0.4. Two it should be the the now the version that's that's been used. So there's a version bump there, um, and there are some some of course a lot of bug fixing. Some some stuff. Lightning Litecoin in the last version was not well tested, so this was tested again. So there's this uh, Litecoin support is, is refreshed, um, and then there's some experimental stuff in there. Uh, for example, that you can now try out the touchscreen on the Raspberry Blitz. It's very early. It's uh, it's a contribution from Frankie. I was kind of integrating now into the into the uh, recipe blitz so when you when you update to the new version uh, you can then go to the service menu uh, and in the services you can then switch on touchscreen and this but this is very very early so it's more like just activating the touchscreen and there's now maybe to until to the, to the final version we will add also some calibration so that you can calibrate your your LCD uh, um, and your touch screen, and then at the moment you just see kind of four little buttons there, and uh, three of them are not there's not action in there yet. So this is this is to be discussed what we want to do now with these uh, buttons and and how we do, how we use them. So I just wanted to everybody to to really see it so that we can better discuss for the future what we want to do with it. And but you can try out uh, the last button gives you kind of a turn off. So you can then with the touch screen just to turn off the the recipe blitz. So yeah, I think people have been wanting that for a while, haven't they? And it's nice as well you sort of set up that functionality so tinkerers can get to work actually trying to build something into it and they can they can mod their blitzes and and try and use those buttons and utilize those buttons and that touchscreen functionality it's a really good idea um uh so so yeah anything what's what's the the plans development wise are you going to continue to try and make it i suppose you're just trying to get 1.3 ready to roll but have you got anything in in, in any any big sort of ideas or proposals which you want to do a little bit in, down the line or um yeah but but i think we are still in the the phase to make it more stable and a little bit more um, as like, uh, prepare it a little bit more for the future. Um, just one little thing we forgot to add is um, what's already in now the recipe blitz is the new logos. So we had the logo contest. So and uh, and I decided to because at the moment you have the startup screen. You see a logo on a startup. It's now every contest uh, contribution we have, you will see in a random kind of choosing in the beginning. Um, maybe later on you can fix yourself a logo which you will like most, but at, at one point, sure, there will be just... So why, why was that? That was because it was the Ras something to do with the Raspbian project, their logo is, is proprietary, isn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit of a discussion. At least some people mentioned uh, that it could can be problematically to have because the, 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 the Raspi logo we had right now was based on the Raspi Bold logo. I asked Staticus if I can use it also for the Raspi Blitz. He said it's okay. Um, but... Uh, 
um, if you very re if you look very closely to it, um, it's a well, big part of it is from the Raspberry Pi logo. The base Raspberry was from that logo, and I think as as much as I know people that they, they have to defend their kind of properties, whatever like can be can get ugly. At least if now people because are people free to sell Raspberry Blitzes on their online stores so at least once you make money at one point this can be troublesome so that so nobody says oh you're selling a, a hardware set there with a logo that is not completely cleared so at least to, we wanted to make sure that uh, we come we, can, we, we we get the logo for ourselves that's a very good point actually worth remembering that the raspberry blitz project is free and open source and it's non-proprietary and if you want to build a Raspberry Blitz and start selling them on your online shop then you're absolutely welcome to do so you know but it's very much encouraged isn't it more the more people running Raspberry Blitzes the better yeah this is the kind of deal in contrast to a little bit the other node projects that are out there that are a little bit more like uh, preparing everything for you in really in a completely more company startup style what's good what is really good uh, I, uh, I think it's very valuable that we have those projects but in contrast the Raspberry Blitz has the idea to come very do it yourself very open everybody can 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 use this the software uh, collect the hardware and even sell it as their own product um, to, uh, in, in their stores I mean in saying that though I mean it's I mean I, I got a tutorial on BTC IT it's it's not if you, you get the right hardware which you recommend and then you put it together and you follow this incredibly comprehensive uh, documentation on the the blitz github it's not hard to set up is it it's, it's 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 not hard. You don't have to be too technically comp as long as you can Google, you know, how to SSH into something, use Putty or whatever to SSH into the into the into the Blitz. It's not a hard process. Most of it's just pushing the process on as the as the um, the, the install script does a lot of the work for you, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. The the installation should be most for everybody to 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 work on. But even to to make your own SD card build and and maybe even in the future, it should be possible. And this is it should be that way. That for example, I think there will come another hard fork or something crazy going on in Bitcoin land. Um, there can be two kind of special versions. So some one seller is, is is really preparing and taking kind of a lead there to to have this this project in with another. Uh, I don't know with another fork. I don't know. It, it should be open to 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 the, for the community to decide what to use, what to follow, and and uh, as much as they want to customize it. Well, I think very much. I mean, I I think that 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 approach is being valued just by the amount of commits and the the, the amount of contributors, and you've got and the people who are giving feedback and testing the software, and because um, uh, it's, it's 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 quite it's an active project now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm very um, I'm very flattered to to really have this project uh, in, in kind of as a lead developer to, to see that uh, this it's, it's it's resonating so much with a lot of people and people contributing for example the touchscreen uh, support something I, I really loved and of course the idea was there this little hardware was touchscreen able but I never had the time and somebody else was really saying cool I like this I, I know some stuff there I saw some stuff there let me try something out Perfectly, and then yeah, no, Frankie demoed it to me the, in the uh, in in the Munich Hack Day, and I was like, oh, amazing! <laughs> for, for for especially the this combination that you have this graphical interface now, but it has kind of a window for the terminal, so we can we can we can gradually uh, step by step kind of now get into more kind of graphical interface while we still use old 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 code that runs on the side. So. This perfect solution. Fantastic, man. Well, I think we'll probably cut it there as it's actually getting dark and you can't see anything on the camera. So, uh, um, maybe some little stuff. There's still some stuff to try out. Um, for example, there is this Tor, Tor switching. You can, you should now be able to, on the setup process, to switch Tor on um, from the beginning. Uh, but this has to be tested because I was not able to, to make a complete run through yet. Uh, just check the on the recipe blitz uh, on the milestones uh, issues, milestone 1.3. You will still find some open issues where you can help out and maybe try stuff out. A very uh, and, f and for everybody else that has a recipe blitz running right now, um, maybe wait for the final release if you, if you have some serious funds uh, on, on 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 your blitz maybe in the end really it's still early software don't get too crazy yeah. with your blitz but if you have some open running channels and on some that you don't want to risk wait for the final release mid of mid of july i think will we will be we will be there um, but if you're a little bit more reckless and then and, and have fun to try stuff out really feel free to to try out the um, yeah, the 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 release candidate one, and yeah, and for sure, 
this will be a simple uh, update process in the end. So once you make the update, you just um, you decide to do the update. Uh, if you run version 1.2, you find in the main menu this update thing. Um, at the moment it will tell you, oh, there is no new update. Yeah, because there is still a release candidate version. Just say yes anyway, update anyway. Um, close, uh, then the SB Blitz shuts down. And then you just take the new SD card, put the new image on there, exchange the SD card and boot it up. And then it should go through the recovery and, and update process. And then you should have the new version running. Brilliant. Nice, cool. I'll try that when I uh, get my Blitz back and fired up. In fact, I suppose I've got the because you're going to be visiting sunny Swansea, so maybe maybe I'll get you to help me with it. <laughs> all right. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, cheers to you, Christian. Thank you for all your hard work. It's incredible. It's um, it's fantastic, isn't it? I think we should probably tag the Celtic Manor Resort here as we've got a big advertisement above our heads. So anyway, so bye bye. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you again.